Why do most people fail at print on demand? I believe that I know one of the most likely reasons for this and no, it's not because you didn't purchase some expensive tool or because you didn't buy someone's course. That's not what I mean. I believe it comes down to some very common psychological problems which a lot of people have these days. So today's society, especially in the younger generations, there's so many people who are hooked and addicted to instant gratification. You can open your phone right now and find dozens of apps which literally show you things instantly you didn't even know you wanted to see but you find super exciting. This dopamine rush, and, and don't get me wrong, I know this as well, is very fun and it's also very addictive and the truth is it doesn't lead to long-term happiness. What it's actually doing is it's stopping you from reaching the goals that would be important to you and potentially life changing. You can kind of see happiness in two different ways. There's pleasure and then there is joy. Pleasure is very short-lived. It usually lasts just a few minutes or maybe a couple hours if you're lucky, but once the pleasurable activity is over, you feel very unhappy and you crave more pleasure. You typically cannot recall pleasure, think back to it and feel happy because of that. However, joy is a very long-lasting form of happiness and joy can take on many different forms. This isn't the same for everyone, but just to name a few examples, it could be things such as financial freedom, social confidence, doing something that you're passionate about, having deep relationships or friendships with people, or just helping other people out. And the feeling you get from joy might not peak as high as the feeling you get from pleasure, but it lasts way longer. For example, if you do the hard work to reach a point of financial freedom, which then allows you to quit your day job and um, work for yourself under your own rules and your own schedule, your average level of happiness will be way higher than before. And the good thing is this sort of new level of happiness is fairly constant because you're not dependent on some app to get you there. You've done the work to reach this level and you're not constantly dropping off to being really unhappy. So to get back to the main point of the video, I think that most people fail at print and demand because we've all got so used to the fact that when you want to feel happy, you can just open up social media or start playing a video game, watch some Netflix. But with building a print and demand business, there's no shortcuts to reaching the same level of happiness that these, uh, well, apps or games might give you. So for most people, once they've tried for a while, maybe a few weeks or a few months, and they didn't reach the results that they were hoping for, they kind of just revert to this instant pleasure, instant happiness, because they feel like they've failed at print on demand. But the reality is, failing at print on demand is necessary. During your first year, you will fail a lot. And it's good because when you fail, you improve. So the more you fail, the better, essentially. You kind of have to see the word fail in a different light. For example, the letters could stand for first attempt in learning. If your designs aren't selling very well, try out different niches or learn how to create better designs. And if that fails again, then try getting better and better, try different strategies, try different tools until it works. And when it works, copy what works and still keep on improving yourself. Now, I'm not saying that you should never use your phone again or you can never, uh, I don't know, watch Netflix again. That's not the point of this video. Everything, in my opinion, is okay in moderation. Maybe just take a step back and analyze how much time you spend with entertainment compared to education. Because I believe for most normal people out there, it's probably about 90% entertainment and 10% education. So if you can spend more time educating yourself in ways that will help you reach your goals and then also limit the amount of entertainment you consume, you will massively increase the speed of your progress. And by increasing the speed of your progress, you'll keep making it easier for yourself to actually reach your goals and reach that level of joy that will actually provide you with a longer lasting sense of 
happiness. So I hope you found this advice useful and I would be curious to know if some of you agree with my opinion. Let me know down below in the comments and if you keep waking up with zero new print on demand sales then you would massively benefit from watching this video next where I show you what sorts of mistakes you might be making as well as how to fix them.